All right, y'all, so this is part two. So what I'm feeling like with this masculine energy, they have been pausing and, and just literally just really trying to see where they have went wrong, okay? Or how they have been mismanaging their life and the people in it. I'm also feeling like they're, they're looking to see what's most important to me. Okay, they're taking a step back here just so they can see here, you know, if what they're putting their energy into is producing something that's meaningful. And what I'm seeing here, apparently, with the Eight of Cups here is about, you know, what they should be walking away from. All right. So. Hmm. Tell me about this. Cord. And so what I'm seeing again, it's like a, it's a cord that has to be severed between this masculine energy here and a karmic. Maybe someone they have children by. Right. And, and I'm feeling it could be. Um, they may have uh, two babies. I don't want to say babies. I see a little girl that looks like she could be maybe between the ages of three and five. And then it looks like a little baby boy on this card. Okay, this baby could be between five months and a year old. Okay, so either this one woman has two children by this masculine or this masculine has two different baby mothers with small children is what i'm hearing but however it's some it's some cords that need to be severed from that and it's going to start with again and from the book it says what um page 27 the energy cords binding you and someone you no longer wish to be attached to are strong you must be willing to let go and that's what it's about it's a willingness to just let go so they have to release it, but they're still holding on to um, this situation through their energy. It's like an energetic connection, okay, is what I'm seeing. So how do they, besides releasing, is there anything else that this masculine has to do to cut these cords? They have to deal with their past. Okay, they have to deal with whatever the triggers are, the patterns, the emotional habits and everything. They have to be willing to let go of those behaviors, those toxic behaviors. Yeah, the two of pentacles comes out. They have to make a decision. All right, so here, once they make a decision here and they basically, um, yeah, go with them with this. All right, so yeah, they have to make some type of decision or choice here and what I'm seeing is that this person, this masculine energy definitely is juggling. It's like they're doing a whole lot between trying to be everything to everyone from work to trying to be a businessman or a woman, right? It's like they're trying to juggle all of these things and they're struggling under the weight of it, first of all. So they really do. They have been really assessing, okay, I got to let some things go here in order for me to be able to, you know, really be this emperor here in my life. But the thing is here with the hermit card coming out, they're going to have to go within. This is something they got to go deep within to get the answers because they it's going to allow them to see exactly what it is that they need to release. OK, or you, if you are this masculine energy with that four of pentacles in the reverse. But what I'm hearing is once they go within, they're going to know because whatever is bringing an imbalance to their life, that's what it's going to be. Right, whatever it is that they've done or decisions that they've made or refused to make that has kept them caught up in this karmic loop or cycle, that's what they have to release in order to cut themselves off from this person. And I feel like, you know, again, these masculines have definitely been going within. Okay, and the answers are coming and the truth is being revealed in so many different ways here. So show me what I need to see here about. What I just heard comes to my mind is you are a divine feminine, okay? Yeah, it's the lovers in the reverse, so it's... Mm -hmm. <sighs> the lovers in the reverse here comes out. The eight of swords next to the five of wands reverse 
and then we have the ten of swords so hold on one second i think the little um paper shit from the cards are flying in my throat but what i'm seeing here is the reason why someone has been so clouded in their judgment okay or feeling restricted and trapped here is because there was an ending with this person just recently so this is some fresh shit i do feel like it has been a lot of hurt and pain already between these two because i got these 10 swords that's in this person's back right with this but the problem is it's like they keep even though they have these experiences this masculine keeps reconciling back with this person or cooperating with this person okay and that's the problem they keep reconciling back with this person or trying to resolve whatever the issues is and it's not their person all right and tell me more about this eight of swords mm -hmm, look at that <laughs> they keep pretending they wear the blindfold to the fact that everything isn't fine it's not they keep pretending and here with the um, Ten of Swords coming out here as well, it's like they may feel like either that they hit a dead end or that they ruined this. Why do they feel like they ruined this? Why do they feel like they ruined this? Because of their infidelity? Because they betrayed this person? Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse? Because they didn't offer them anything serious yep they came at them with the emperor in the reverse energy okay the seven of wands in the reverse as well all right they basically gave up on what they really believe in okay because of the simple fact that they feel like they ruined this connection or they ruined this person okay king of swords in the reverse position they abused their power here they were mean they had bad intentions is also what I'm hearing. And now this is, and the reason why they're feeling this way is because they have that karmic ribbon that's binding them two together, okay? Yeah, they weren't really serious. They just, they was really in it because of greed or some type of lust is what I'm hearing. And then of course, guess what happens? That lust brought about babies is what i'm hearing so this is maybe why they're feeling restricted because they made these choices and i feel like they may have even said some things to this person yep six of cups in a reverse position so this definitely could be somebody they dealt with in the past but i feel like they could have said some things to this person here as well what they thought they may have felt this way about this person yep the lover's card they thought that this was their person and come to find out again the lovers in the reverse comes out that's why they kept going back and trying is what i'm seeing with the ten of swords upright seven of cups right next to it okay definitely having a lot of choices and options but that's why they kept going back to this person so i feel like whoever this person is is definitely not someone that is new they may have broke up got back together separated for a long period of time got back together just that back and forth energy here right and and mm -hmm. yeah yeah they thought this was their person basically ten of pentacles comes out the knight of wands and the two of swords and the problem was you got two people that's a part of this equation and the masculine energy went towards what they thought was going to be their ten of pentacles they're everything. Financial stability, wealth, being able to reach their goals, their long-term goals. Again, this masculine energy is focusing on being that king of, pen king of pentacles, successful. And so in their decision-making and refusing to make a decision, basically, it created this mess. But the reason why they keep going back to this person is because they need to sever the ties. And basically, severing the ties would be making a decision to let go it's a willingness to let go they have to now be in their will okay and just how we do with any ex right what do we do 
Once we're done, we're done. I'm not going back to that. I'm not doing that anymore. We allow our willpower to be stronger than that need 